Okay, so I want to talk to you about Ivan on Tech, and I want to talk to you kind of um, his take. So let's, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, if this is the first video, let's just a quick recap of who Ivan on Tech is. He's, he's influential, 100 and, almost 150,000 or there about 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. Let's check it out. 160,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's um, a pro, Ethereum programmer. He has a great channel, by the way, if you're into the whole tech side of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. Um, he's uh, he's a, a bit of a genius in this space. However, he's still human uh, and he's still susceptible to emotions. And there's this whole thing that occurred that said that he basically endorsed proof of weak hands. And this is part of his response to that. And let's just uh, let's just go ahead and watch it and then we'll talk about it. Of course, 4th of April. <clears throat> I mean, the first thing I really want to discuss with you is uh, the, this whole P3D uh, madness and P3D is pr proof of weak hands or one of the same crazy stuff that is going on. So as you probably know, guys, there is a lot of uh, fraud and there is a lot of impersonation going on in this space. I mean, if you just go to Telegram, I think you can find 10 different Ivan on takes. You can, you can find 10 different uh, box minings, you can maybe find 20 different Jimmy songs. It is just insane, there are so many clones, so many impersonators. And uh, you know, Telegram, it's not, uh, it's not that significant, of course it is significant, but uh, it is something I'm used to. But yesterday, yesterday happened something that is whole other level. Basically, ba <laughs> it, it is so funny to talk about as well, but anyway. People claimed that I endorsed P3D and I didn't really understand what is going on because random people told me, hey Ivan, uh, have you, you know P3D, I heard that you are, are endorsing them. I, I was like, what is going on? Why are people telling me this? And uh, then suddenly on Twitter, I saw a video that was titled Ivan on take audits P3D code and uh, endorses it. And the this was completely mind-blowing but basically you have this video published by craig grant so just i mean just that tells you something i want to take note of this tweet p3d madness is getting insane they create fake accounts with my name pictures creating fake discord accounts claiming that i've reviewed their piece of crap code completely insane um bit emotional obviously he's upset and and it was a little bit shocking i don't know the guy personally but i watched a lot of his channels he comes off very measured and very logical um, and he's very much able to communicate with clarity of thought but for some reason this attacked him at his core his ego or something he was insulted which I, I get it I mean you feel impersonated someone misrepresented you they, they basically took on your identity I mean that would piss you off so I, I do get that part for sure but that context is important as we continue what's important is the things that he says but what's even more important is what he doesn't say um, because I, I do believe the guy, I do believe he has integrity, just, I mean, I'm assuming that based off of what I've watched of his and, and, um, you know, and I guess I have no way to, to prove that, but I, I do feel like he probably has integrity. Um, however, he gets very emotional and, and emotionally in this and emotional in this, and it makes sense. This was published by Craig Grant. And they have taken my lecture where I speak in front of like a thousand developers last year and uh, uh, also made fake uh, fake accounts on Discourse. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say that I've, obviously I featured this video in my video and he's making out, what I don't like here is there's no proof that Craig Grant was intentionally being misleading. Um, several people, even Sunny Decree here, who's a popular YouTuber you've heard me talk about, talks about having a one hour conversation and he follows Ivan on tech. And one of the things I mentioned in my video where I first talked about Ivan on tech, if true endorses P3D or proof of weak hands. One of the things that I mentioned in that video was the person who was responding in the discord chat, his responses were very measured. Um, they weren't emotional, which is typically how Ivan communicates. The communication was, I mean, the impersonation was a good one, was a good one. Um, and then Sonny Decree says he figured out after a one hour chat. Now, maybe he was trying to save face here, who knows? But he says after a one hour of chat, he thought he realized then 
that it was probably not Ivan on tech. But let's keep going. Oh, part of the reason this thumbnail's here is because he was showing a picture. It was probably a YouTube thumbnail that just showed up when he went to upload the video. Craig Grant was show, trying to explain for people who may not know who, who Ivan on tech was, and he just showed some video footage of him at that conference speaking. Um, and obviously it was a little bit of clickbait, but he acts like it's maliciously false in some way, and I don't think there's any proof of that. So it's unfortunate that, he, again, he's just emotional. Um, but the, here's the other problem with this. Ivan on tech, he has some extreme clickbait Meaning he does a lot of things that's gimmicky to get people to click his videos. A lot. But now all of a sudden, you know, he's accusing someone else of doing the same thing that he does. And now it's a problem. And that's like, oh, wow. You know, I thought you'd be above the fray. I mean, again, I think he's just pissed off because he got impersonated, which is fair. Uh, but it's causing him to communicate in a way that I don't think he would typically, I'm, I'm hoping he wouldn't typically uh, speak so carelessly as to, you know, accuse someone without evidence. And he says as much a little bit, but you can clearly tell that he's biased. He clearly thinks there's a good shot, either proof of weekends or Craig Grant intentionally uh, was the person who did this. But the reality is it could have been anyone and it could have been any investor in P3D. But let's keep going. Uh, with my picture and my name and writing, you know, this code is amazing. This code is solid and it is just mind blowing. <laughs> Guys, of course, I have no idea who created these fake accounts. Is it Craig Grant? Maybe. Is it P3D themselves? Maybe. But it just, I mean, think about who would benefit out of this. Of course, they would benefit. Did they Any of the owners of the nearly 20,000 contracts of Ethereum that's currently in P3D? I mean, so it could have been any number of people, I mean, take your choice, tens of thousands of investors, potentially, it could have been any number of those. Um, but let's keep going. They do that. I don't know. <laughs> they have the, the developers of P3D, just so you know, they're like not even in the top 10 of owners of, of tokens, just so you know. So I just want to get that clear. I mean, I can't speak on Craig Grant. I don't, I mean, I watched Craig Grant video and it seemed like he fully bought into it. Now, maybe he's, you know, um, extraordinarily devious and an amazing actor. I don't, the guy doesn't strike me as an amazing actor, but I could be wrong. Um, however, even Sunny D. Cree was fooled here. And at the same time, if anyone, had, when he talks about who had something to gain, well, it wasn't the developers of P3D because, I mean, they, I mean, technically it could be them, but they didn't have the most to gain. If, if anything, it would be one of the top 10, top 20 um, stakeholders. But I, we'll continue to watch what else he says. Benefit of the doubt. Anyway, something that I find extremely interesting as well is that when you see, I mean, I mean when you see the schemes, when you see the, these kind of made up money income people are getting, it's never the case that they tell everyone, you know what, join and get free money. I mean, you always try to pitch it in a bigger context. And this is very, very true for, for example, BitConnect. I mean, you remember Carlos Matos. What was Carlos Matos saying? We are coming <coughs> and we are coming in waves. We are changing the world. We are fighting financial exclusion. We, we are becoming financial. <laughs> independently so i mean this this kind of schemes always try to pitch themselves as something bigger as if being financially independent has anything to do with being part of a pyramid scheme now this uh, p3d thing is not the same as bitconnect in the okay let's back this up a little bit with being part of a pyramid scheme always try to pitch themselves as something bigger as if being financially independent okay they always try to pitch themselves as being something bigger so here's what he's saying he's like oh yeah everyone who's a part of these money making schemes these exciting schemes and he's start, stopped short of saying frauds um, or scams and he says these money making schemes basically that promote financial independence which i think is hilarious um, he says that they they basically always have a bigger, uh, you know, purpose. So, you know, they're, they're, they're like he talks about Carlos. They're coming in waves and basically they're going to change the world and they're going to do something grandiose. 
and he's somehow saying that that is just specifically to a cryptocurrency that allows you to produce something similar to like a dividend in a stock. However, this statement is useless. This is no different than Bitcoin. I mean, Ivan on tech himself in many of his talks have talked about blockchain technology changing the world. It, it's no difference. Anyone who's passionate about a topic, just because Ivan's not passionate about, and, and it's so wild to me because people think, I mean, right now, cryptocurrency, I mean, it, the price is going down and people, you know, the outsiders who are familiar with it, many of them are like, oh, yeah, we told you it was in a bubble. Yeah, we told you it wasn't working. Never mind the fact that last year in January, it was only about $1,000. Right now, it's at 6000 and some change. So that's a significant change. Uh, that's a significant growth from 1000 in a year, 600%. However, because it was up to almost $20,000 per Bitcoin, you know, there are a lot of people who are saying, yeah, we told you so. Yeah, Bitcoin's a scam. There are people still saying this in groves. Bitcoin is so far from mass adoption. Yet there are people like myself and like Ivan and like many of the other people who are innovators in this space who believe in the technology who are saying this is going to change the world. This is incredible. This is a revolution. This is the next thing. This is and somehow he pigeonholes and says, well, all these scams do that. Well, if you believe in that, then everything's a scam. I mean, most of your large corporations, if the, I mean, I can tell you right now, regional Southeast Bank, BB&T, I know for a fact that they have meetings. And when they have their big corporate annual get togethers for employees, if you go, they talk about how they're, you know, they're on the cusp. They're looking to change the world or looking to, you know, make things a better place. I mean, they're very, uh, I guess you can use the word hypey or passionate. Walmart has done the same thing. I saw a documentary on Walmart. They do the same thing at their corporate conventions for their employees. Heck, Warren Buffett, if you go to you know his annual meetings where people are, are passionate about Warren Buffett and his philosophies and what he says and his companies, I mean, people do the same thing there. So, so he's somehow saying that because these people are passionate, then therefore, you know, th there's something wrong with this. It's hypey. Has it ever occurred to him that these people are just believers? I mean, I don't know Carlos personally, but the story is that the guy had withdrew almost nothing in BitConnect and he just kept basically doubling down. Yes, probably greedy. But if that's the case, if that is what happened, then that guy, not only did they make a meme out of him on the internet for saying BitConnect, but they also, the guys took a massive loss because he was a believer. And so that idea that someone is passionate somehow makes it a scam is ridiculous. And by that same logic, Ivan himself and his passion for blockchain technology means that Bitcoin and the entire blockchain must be a scam. It's ridiculous. Has anything to do with being part of a pyramid scheme. Now, this uh, P3D thing is not the same as BitConnect in the sense that they are open source and you can view the code. How this is important. He says it is open source and you can view the code. He points that out. That's great. It's not the same as something like BitConnect, meaning it's not a Ponzi. He's assuming that BitConnect here is, was a total Ponzi. And so, so therefore he's saying that P3D clearly is not a Ponzi in that sense. However, in my view, it is a complete crap because many people will still lose all their funds. And so that's mind blowing to me. Now, here's what's lacking. His reason on why P3D is bad. He gives zero reasons for why P3D is bad. It is absolutely mind-blowing. He says it's crap because people are going to lose money. So does that also make Bitcoin crap? Because there's a lot of people that lost a lot of money who bought in at, you know, 15, 18, 20 grand. Does it make Ethereum crap because people bought in at $1,000 and Ethereum is between three and $400 right now? I mean, the, the whole space is risky. People can lose money. And can you lose money on P3D? Absolutely, like any other token. But therefore, either the entire industry is crap or your logic is flawed. And unfortunately, Ivan is, I mean, this is where he loses me. I'll be honest with you. Ivan has always, I've always thought he was very logical and measured in his communication. And maybe it's just because he's emotional. And again, I always talk about we all have bias. Maybe he's just biased um, because the way he found out about this was someone was using his name uh, inappropriately 
and impersonating him, stealing his identity, and maybe that's where his bias come from and is unfortunate uh, for the community at large because it would have been great to have an outright, um, it would have been great for him to at least say, hey, I looked at this I looked at this code and the code is solid. I mean, that that's that would have been exciting. And not because, not just because he's known to have an expertise in this area, but simply because of his notoriety uh, in this area. He could have said, I don't necessarily like the project, but the code is solid. And that would that would have been awesome. But so far, let's just take note what he's what he's has said so far. It is open source and it is not like BitConnect. That's what he said so far. I mean, you can decide for yourself if you think it's crap or not. I think it is a complete crap. And and the only reason that he thinks it's crap so far is because he thinks people are going to lose money, but he hasn't said why they're going to lose money. The, I mean, I think the biggest reason for that is also that it is giving the whole space a really, really bad name. Okay. It's given the whole space a bad name. Number one on DAP radar right now, the most popular DAP. It's showing people interacting with Ethereum blockchain, which is good for Ethereum. Unless there's a hack, unless there's some sort of backdoor nobody's been able to find. Because so, supposedly people are looking. And you got to keep in mind, there's almost 20,000 Ethereum in this contract right now. Ethereum is, I don't know, earlier today it was about 350. So you do 20,000 times 350. 20,000 times 300 is what, 6 million? So there's a $6 million bounty right now if somebody can crack uh, the Ethereum blockchain. If they can crack that smart contract, I mean, of P3D, that they can drain that $6 million. So right now there's a $6 million bounty. And currently today, of this, as of this video, no one's been able to crack it yet. Currently. So unless that happens, I mean, people can lose faith in the token, I guess, but it's complete crap. Why? Let's back that up because it gives no reason. I think it's complete crap because... Crap or not, I think it is a complete crap. And the I mean, I think the big... This is his logical reason. Here we go. Master logic right here. I mean, this is so disappointing. I still like Ivan. This isn't anything against him. I just know that he's uh, obviously emotional. Um, and then this is basically my bias against his bias, but if he was logical, I think he would realize he's not given any good reasonings here. But here's his big moment for why he thinks it's complete crap. The biggest reason for that is also that it is giving the whole space a really, really bad name. How? An extremely bad name. How? When all of this collapses... How? It will just be another kind of scam story that happened in blockchain. It is open source. If he was worried about that, if that was his fundamental concern, then he could simply review the code from his perspective and see if he can have a find a flaw. And if he could find a flaw, then he could point out that flaw and A, for it either get fixed or B, to go ahead and, and basically prevent this thing from getting any bigger if he was that concerned. Again, I think he's just being emotional, unfortunately. It is, I mean, you can view the code, still doesn't change the... You can view the code. So why hasn't he done that yet if, this, if he's so concerned about the black guy on the industry? This isn't like a Ponzi scheme where it's being hidden and they're shuffling money around. You can see it on the blockchain. He, could, he has the capability to review this code fact that uh, this is completely insane. I mean, something very interesting is that uh, Doug Polk came out and also said that, you know, Doug Polk says everything's a scam. Doug Polk hates just about everybody that's anyway. Yeah, don't get me started there. I would recommend Ivan, to, uh, Ivan on text channel. Doug Polk. Eh. Craig Grant published this video and uh, this whole uh, P3D thing this is the example of Craig Grant. He's not measured at all. Craig Grant is trying to use Ivan on text name to take advantage of people. Be careful, guys. As if Craig, how, how is promoting P3D? You, I mean, say what you want to about Craig Grant. Let's talk about his action. How is promoting P3D a negative? I mean, again, he's making massive assumptions. He's just, you know, and that's what Doug Polk does, just makes massive assumptions. And it's ridiculous is really trying to use my name 
to uh, to convince more people to join. Now, again, I do not do not know if it is them. Maybe it's not them. I mean, they are here claiming that they have nothing to do with it. Who knows? Who knows? But it's important to point out here. They P3D responded. Again, this is their official Twitter account. Again, Craig Grant is not an official spokesperson for our project, and we stated multiple times that we could not verify the identity of whoever claimed to be Ivan on Tech. We apologize for this behavior, but we clearly do not have control over the user's actions. That is a fair and legitimate response. And this idiot here says, if Craig Grant is supporting you, it's kind of already over, and you're probably a scam. Really? I mean, he, he's just sensational. He's just always responding emotional and sensational and, you know, trying to grab views or something. Um, the guy's, by the way, a former poker player, um, online poker player, which it is what it is. It, hopefully he was amazing at it. I'm not certain why he's in the crypto space. If he was killing it with poker, who knows? I don't know. And maybe that's not fair for me to say. That's my bias. But I see some of this stuff like right here. This is ridiculous. It's not even fair. Like you didn't even, you don't even know what you're talking about, Doug Polk. You didn't even take a look at it, but let's keep going. And, and at the very least, at least here, Ivan says, hey, you know, we can't confirm this. We don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just, it's very important for me to sell, uh, to, uh, to say to everyone that I am not involved. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the crap. I have nothing to... Uh, to um, uh, to do with the team, I do not endorse this, and that is really it. That is really it. I mean, it is just mind blowing. And be always suspicious when you hear people people say anything in um, chat discussions, on Telegram, on uh, uh, discourse, on uh, Discord, wherever, wherever, really, because. It's so easy to create fake accounts. It's so easy to impersonate people. And what these scammers do not realize is that impersonation is a serious crime in uh, all countries. Okay. He goes on and says and a serious crime and it's going to catch up with him. But then he goes on and say, basically, what would the recourse be? Okay. And then he moves on to another topic. I wanted to play that last part just to get it on the record that he does say that he doesn't endorse it. He's not aware of it. He does call it crap, although he gives no reasoning for why it's crap. He says it is a blockchain. You know, there are obviously smart contracts. You can read the code. He says all that. Um, and so, and that's really kind of the good news here for those of us that are less technically inclined. And the fact that um, I think, I mean, I guess he could come out and say, and I guess, I mean, he could lie and be like, I read the source code and, you know, it's garbage. Um, but I'm not saying that, I mean, I guess he could come out and say that, but he didn't say that here. Um, and that's that's good. He didn't say anything negative about the code or the quality of the code. And he clearly is biased. He's clearly upset. Um, I wouldn't be so shocked if he's looked at the code potentially. I don't know that. I'm just saying if you're ticked off about it and you think it's crap, I mean, I don't know how hard it would be to, to kind of give the code a, a quick once over and see if you could find something glaring out of the way in there. I mean, if you read from the developer, the developer is clearly pretty smart in this space. And he tried to respond. I mean, there's, there's actually... In this Twitter feed, there's a, uh, another example down there where the, the developer responds very measured and he apologizes again. Um, and, you know, and, and truthfully, I don't take deserves an apology and it sucks. And he does make a good point here. This is for anyone in the P3D community or anywhere else. You do need to be careful in this space. People obviously do impersonate people. It's one of the reasons I'm going to leave the video up that I did a few days ago where I mentioned, and I put in parentheses, by the way, if true. And the reason I did that is because I was aware, aware of other people being impersonated um, previously. So, and I would have thought that um, Ivan on Tech would have found out sooner and probably come out a little faster than he even did. I mean, he came out within a couple of days, but I figured that would have gotten to him much, much faster. And maybe it did, and he just didn't pay attention to it because he didn't realize how big of a deal it was. Um, and he's clearly emotional here. He's upset. But there you go. At the end of the day, he thinks it's crap. He doesn't endorse it. He can't give you any logical, fundamental reason for why it's crap. Um, he definitely doesn't call it a Ponzi scheme at all. He definitely doesn't call it a scam at all. Why? Because he's probably looked at it enough, just like Sonny Decree, just like Superman, to realize that he might not like the project, but you can't call it you know, what it's not. And it's not designed at this point that anyone can prove, even on an open source blockchain, no one can prove that it's a Ponzi scam or it's just a total scheme. 
So it's fascinating. Just keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, if you choose to invest in the P3D, do so. If you invest in crypto space, period, do so with caution. It's a very, very crazy, crazy space. Um, so just be very careful out there. At the same time, it's a it's a lot of fun. And there's there's use cases for similar technology to P3D. I mean, I want you, well, I don't want to make this video any longer. I need to do an entire, you know, I need to do an entire video talking about one or two of the use cases in a little more detail. Um, if you want to see that, just put it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe uh, button. Hit the bell notification icon. Thank you for being a viewer. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about um, this video from Ivan on Tech. Um, and maybe you think I'm off base. Hey, I'm clearly biased for P3D. I get it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.